Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Now today I want to be reviewing um, a product that was sent to me actually. I didn't buy this with my own money so I'm going to start by being honest about that. I'm always honest if I bought something. Um, and anyway, so I, I'm, I'm going to put all that down below as well. But I do really like this product and I wanted to let you know about it. And it's called Heliocare. 360 now this is a sun cream um, which protects you from uva and uvb rays and it's um factor 50 plus now um the reason that i actually wear sun cream every day is because actually i mean i'm half indian i've never burnt in my life i've burnt once actually tell a lie i've burnt once in my life so I I do have very protected skin, but as with a lot of people of Asian origin, I have started to um, develop pigmentation. You won't see it very much because I've got makeup on, but pigmentation that is under or here on my cheeks and also a little bit on my head. Now, the problem with this is that it does actually look very muddy. It's quite difficult to cover it up and obviously that is sun damage it I first it first got really apparent when I was pregnant with my boy who's now nine and it just didn't go away and as I say when you put on makeup I don't know if you can see but it it sometimes pops through like there and it just looks muddy now the thing about pigmentation is there are some things that you can do to reduce the look of things um but it it tends to be quite stubborn once you've got it you've got it but what you can do is prevent it getting worse by making sure that you use a good sunblock now as i say i was sent this and I, what i wanted to do was i actually up to that point where you was using this ultra sun which is also very good and it also protects you from UVA and UVB and it's anti-pigmentation and it has antioxidant so this is also really good so I wanted to do a comparison and I'm going to tell you why I have actually prefer this one now um, for one very simple reason which I'll get on to um, firstly the price between these two this one is £32 and I got it in Waitrose. This one is £24.50 on Beauty and the Boutique. Now, um, the difference, let's see what's the difference. I think they're both 50 mils. This one's definitely 50 mils. I've just got to check. Um, can't find how much is in here. Let me just have a look. <laughs> It doesn't say. It must do. 50 mils. Yeah, 50 mils. So they're both 50 mils. Obviously, this one's a lot cheaper. Um, but there's one very clear reason. I was getting very lazy about putting this on. And actually, it wasn't really laziness. And I'm, I'm going to demonstrate to you um, why I kind of gave up a lot of days putting it on. Now, it's very good, it's very thick, and I'm just going to rub this onto my hand, like so. Okay. So, there you will see it's now rubbed on my hand. Now, can you see that whilst that is very good at protecting me, that basically, on my face, that's going to wash me out. It's white. Um... So it basically um, put that on under foundation and you had to put on a lot more makeup to bring back the colour to your skin. And that's why a lot of days I kind of skip the step really, which is really bad. Um, because it basically made me pale. Now the reason that I like Heliocare is because it does actually have some colour in it, some um, 
and what happens is over three minutes if you look at this I'm just going to show you over three minutes uh, where is the camera there we go over three minutes what happens is it, it um, adjusts to your skin tone um, so it doesn't it's not going to affect the makeup that you put on afterwards now let me just show you my two hands together can you see the difference in skin tone already and it hasn't had its three minutes to adjust I think that makes it quite clear so for any of you out there that really do want to use sun protection but you and you know and you you want to use serious sun protection to protect yourself but you don't like this kind of very white appearance this is a brilliant alternative now there is one thing that some people may not like I actually don't mind it but it does have quite a strong scent to it but it does actually fade as it dries into your skin um, so by the time they say to kind of leave it for um, sort of five to ten minutes before putting your makeup on um, and by that time you really can't smell it but it is quite a powerful smell and that is because there's an ingredient in here that is not in this one which is called fern block and I actually looked it up there's been quite a lot of research and it's been shown to be quite effective so um, yeah so basically that is the reason I will now be wearing Heliocare nothing wrong with Ultrasun um, Ultrasun is really really good um, but as I say that's the main reason the other reason that I really like this cream is because I noticed that when I put it on that it has a really firming effect on my skin and it really do you know you know what it made me think of really it's it's a little bit like putting a push-up bra on in the morning it just felt like it kind of went bloop like that with my skin and it just slightly firmed my skin up um, and yeah and I don't get that this is just a cream and it's moisturizing yet yeah, sure and it's it's got all these sun aspects in that you would want but I just didn't get that with that cream so you know the price is cheaper it doesn't make your skin pale I think you can still see that and it has for me it had this firming effect so I'm definitely now converted to Heliocare 360 um, I will put the links below um, I hope you've enjoyed um, my review today and I'll see you soon take care thanks for joining me bye bye